All right, welcome back to WM Macy Now with your host Chuck Stevenson. Coming at you today with another fight review. This time we're going to Bellator 259. We're going to the featherweight division. Number six ranked Janae Harding coming in at six and four, taking on number seventh ranked Leah McCourt coming in at four and one. Now this was originally scheduled to go down last year in on May 16th in London, but it was canceled due to you know everything that was going on last year that we hardly need to bring up with the sickness and everything. Um, you know, this was a fight I was actually looking more forward to than the featherweight championship main event on the same card. Because I'll be honest, this fight does more for the future of the division than the championship fight did. Like, if we're talking about the future of the featherweight division overall, this fight is much more important. Two uh, young prospects taking each other on I mean, this could easily decide, you know, the future trajectories for each fighter and the future of the division as a whole. So this was definitely one to look forward to. But And also, both fighters have crowd-pleasing styles. All right, so let's get into it. First round, um, a caught Harding kick led to the clinch against the cage. Um, some knees starting to land from at court. Um, but her first two takedowns defense, or excuse me, her first two takedown attempts by McCourt were stuffed by Harding, who was able to reverse position, but did eventually get taken down uh, by a trip. Uh, Harding did get back up shortly. She landed some more shots, uh, then clinched McCourt again. A couple changes in position followed, and then McCourt landed another trip, but Harding got back up a lot faster on this time. Um, again, another block takedown, a couple of takedown defenses by McCourt blocked by Harding. Uh, who started to land harder strikes in the clinch. Uh, from there, McCourt got a final takedown to side control, uh, then got to the back of Harding, pretty much right at the bell. So it was a pretty close round. I, I thought McCourt edged it out just based on the takedowns. But uh, the second round was when the action really picked up. Uh, so second round, uh, an again, Harding threw a kick to the body that was caught by McCourt. Um, and it led to the clinch again, but this time uh, Harding was doing a better job of controlling her posture in the clinch, uh, keeping control on the outside, just using, using you know, her head where her head was to control the posture. Um, from there, Harding separate, and she started landing just absolutely heavy punches to Leah McCourt, uh, prompting McCourt to go for a takedown, but Harding was able to stuff it and landed a high kick after let, after. Uh, tossing McCourt off of her. Uh, McCourt, at this point, you know, she seemed exhausted. She started backpedaling, um, went for another takedown, but got reversed by Harding. And Harding on top just starts landing bombs. Like, she's got high posture, um, kind of in half guard, just starts, I mean, just starts throwing absolute bombs. Now, McCourt, she was smart. She was able to regain half guard fully, um, uh, but Harding, you know, she was still landing bombs from high posture. And then this is where Hardy makes her biggest mistake. Like, she wants to pass guard. So she decides to stand in order to, to toss the, sweep the legs and pass the guard. But ends up, she stands up and ends up eating a beautiful, beautiful up kick from McCourt on the re-entry. And it just absolutely, like, stuns McCourt. Harding and she collapses into McCourt's guard and McCourt basically slaps on the triangle right away and McCourt is able to tighten it up and rolls and Harding just is forced to tap I mean so your victory goes to Leah McCourt via submission due to triangle choke two minutes 42 seconds of the second round you know this is a fun fight while it lasted uh, non-stop action, and even in the clinch battles, you know, they were working the entire time. Um, this fight, though, is a good example, I mean, great example, I should say, of how, you know, mistakes can cost you big time in a fight. Um, Harding, you know, she, like I said, you could tell she wanted to pass the guard, and that's why she stood up over McCourt, but she didn't have to stand. I mean, there's other ways to pass guard besides that that she could have used 
Or she didn't even have to pass guard. She could have stayed there and just kept landing ground and pound. I mean, there was no reason to stand over McCourt like that. And it cost her big time. Um, one thing I wanted to note, McCourt did come in heavy. She weighed in at 149.4 pounds. So not sure why. This is the first time that she's made a transatlantic flight in order before her fighting. I mean, all of her fights came in Europe, mostly in the UK and Ireland. So that could be why, because we do know that those long flights uh, can you know mess with your uh, body composition. But we'll have to see. Anyway, for things to work on for Leah McCourt, obviously she's got to make weight. You know, she seemed to have cardio issues in the second round, and that could be part of the uh, whole weight fiasco. So she's she's got to really work on on making weight. Uh, for Harding, I don't think she needed to clinch as much as she did. Um, like even she, even the clinches she initiated, she really didn't go there. I'd like to see her use her distance more often. I mean. She had a slight height and slight reach advantage, and she knows how to use her length, so why get into clinch battles with a grappler? Also needs to work on her fight IQ. Now that is just some stuff that, you know, that's gonna come out of, you know, drilling and a lot of like sparring. Not necessarily heavy sparring, but you, the more you spar, the more you're gonna pick up on things that your opponent can do. I mean, her, her fight IQ just cost her big time in this fight. It cost her a couple times in the first round with some takedowns and then it cost her big time in the second round when she ate that up kick. So gotta work on that overall fight IQ. Now for fights to make, this this where it gets interesting here. For Janae Harding, you know, she moved down, ended up moving down two spots in the ranking. She was at number six, now she's down to number eight. She needs, you know, a comeback fight. I'd like to see her take on Olba, excuse me, Olga Rubin. I think if, uh, you know, Ruben is currently unranked uh, due to inactivity, but both fighters are, you know, really needing a win right now. So the winner of that fight could get themselves back into contention there, you know, right away. And they're both primarily strikers, so it'd make for an interesting fight. For Leah McCourt, well, she moved up to number six, I believe. No, she moved up to like number five, I think, in the rankings. And, uh, yeah, either six or five. But I'd like to actually see her fight, still fight someone ranked a little bit lower in the rankings in Amanda Bell. Amanda Bell is still more experienced. You know, she's six and six. And she throws some heavy bombs. I'd like to see how McCourt does against a fighter like Bell, who's going to come forward landing those heavy shots and see how she reacts to that. And because this is featherweight division, fighters hit heavy here. She's got to, you know, get used to that and learn how to deal with that factor. So I think Amanda Bell would be a good a matchup for Leah McCourt. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Janae Harding versus Leah McCourt, Bellator 259. Like I said, this was a really good fight. It was a good fight for both of them to see how they matched up against each other. Um, they're both young. Both are, you know, relatively inexperienced. Um, and also it was a good fight, for, you know, to see the trajectory of the future of the featherweight division. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. Now, if you liked the video, please give it a like, share it as well, and go ahead and subscribe to WMMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.